I didn't want to do this. I don't know why this had to happen to him. He's so good. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cameraman Ron channel and welcome back to beautiful Pensacola, Florida. I'm Dusty with the Dusty Fish Company here on YouTube. And I talked to Sarah and said, hey, I wanna go out and shoot a video for Ron, help y'all keep the channel going and everything. Uh, I know his home water really well. I launched here in Bayou Chico, one of his favorite places. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna head out today and I'm gonna shoot a Cameraman Ron video. I'm gonna go out and do a mangrove snapper video in some of his favorite spots to fish. So that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna head out. I got a bunch of live shrimp. I got some artificials too to pitch in case there's some other fish running around. But uh, the target is live shrimp, mangrove snapper. That's what we're going for. If you haven't yet smashed that like and subscribe button here on the Cameraman Ron channel, go ahead and do that. It helps out more than you know. A lot of people have been asking what they can do to help. Plus, if you just wanna help out in the easy, cheap, free way, go back and watch some of Ron's videos you've never watched before, guys. They make their living here on YouTube and watching a lot of these videos that you've never seen. He's got hundreds and hundreds of videos, so I'm sure you're gonna find something new. Go back and watch a few of those. It's gonna help out more than you know. Anyways, I'm gonna get out here, get a couple shrimp in the water, and see if we can get some fish on the deck. And now I'm gonna send y'all over to Sarah for an update, and I'll see y'all at the first hookup. Let's get it. Got him that time. What we got? Bro, I know. Baby red. Baby red fish right there, guys. Not a bad first fish. I can't do it the same as Rom. I'm gonna give you a little tummy time right there. <laughs> Alright guys. In typical Ron fashion, little dink red fish right there. Let's get him back. There we go. Oh my God, that was a nice redfish. I just missed a really nice redfish. He came up when I set the hook, he came up and I could see he only had the back half of that shrimp and then he let it go. There he is. Get out of there. Get off that pilot. That's a bit, a little bit better fish. That might eat. Let's see what we got. No? Guy, he's just fighting hard as heck. Little redfish there, a little bit better redfish on that one. Hi right, guys, <laughs> they're getting bigger slowly but surely. So uh, we're upgrading there. Nice little red, they're fun to fight. This uh, weather's cooled off and they are fighting friggin' hard, man. I thought he was a slot red or lower slot red, but hey, let's send him back. Later, dude, thank you. Those of you that follow us on Facebook, you already know. Those of you that only follow us on the channel, CMR fought his fight, and he fought good, and he fought hard, but he's in heaven now. He, he's our angel. I didn't want to do this. I don't know why this had to happen to him. He's so good. We're all going to have unanswered thoughts and why this had to happen why him because he is one of the good ones hey baby and um you don't understand either do you it's okay it's okay ron was an angel in disguise and i truly believe that he's been our angel for 43 years, he's been an angel on this earth and God wanted him back. He was literally an angel to everybody. He never met a stranger, never met somebody who wasn't immediately a family, a friend, like, right, Mila, right? And, <laughs> no baby, but um, it's not gonna be the same but it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. 
Um, it sucks. Like I've said before, it sucks. And it's Ronnie. I didn't just lose my husband. I lost my best friend. He's truly my best friend. We do everything together. Always have. When you saw Ronnie, you saw Sarah. It was Ron and Sarah. It's how it's always been. It's how it was supposed to be. CMR and the PYT. You down with me? <laughs> I can't stop. But um, we're going to get through this and we're going to be okay because Ron wouldn't want it any other way. And I'm, I'm light and I'm happy and I've got a wonderful spirit that won't get down. He fell in love with this and this is, you know, what y'all are going to get. So it'll be fine. I really don't know what to say to you guys because I don't know what to say to myself. So, other than the CMR will be truly missed, but we're going to keep his dream alive. Don't worry. We're going to keep his dream alive because this channel was just as much his dream as it was mine. And we've had so many adventures planned for you guys that are still going to happen. Um, we just won't have CMR, but he'll be with us the whole way. You might not see him on camera. You're gonna have to be stuck with this. A lot more singing, a lot more random things. And I think I'm done eating random things, but I might do random things because I'm random, but you'll love it. Um, Daniel and DJ Arms did make t-shirts for us and you guys can get yours. We're all gonna be part of the same amazing team. Team Cameraman Ron forever. And you get to give him the belly. I told you, we're all going to be giving him the belly. I think he'll like that. I think he'll like it. And I'm going to find a way to smile. I'm going to find a way to make other people smile all the time. Because that's what I do. I'm not going to sit here and boohoo forever. We're going to smile. And we're going to be happy. Because Ron is happiness. And I'm going to leave him with this. Ron with the love of my life. My best friend. And it's daggone good father and he'll be missed by everybody literally everybody but I want to leave him with one thing because I'm gonna win okay I'm gonna win Ronnie I love you more I'm gonna miss you more and I've darn enjoyed being married to you more I win and you will always melt my butter <laughs> There he goes. Oh, get off the piling. Another red, about the same size. Oh, he's a little bit smaller. Boy, he absolutely choked it. I gotta get the hook out of this guy, but another rat red right there, y'all. It's funny, is if y'all follow along on my channel, uh, you've seen I had a redfish curse for the longest time and i couldn't catch redfish to save my life for like four months everybody on the boat would catch them i'd catch everything else and i think this is my fourth redfish of the day i, I can't explain it all right so they say there are uh, there are life lessons that you learn the hard way one of mine is not swapping my leader out when it gets frayed up that last fish frayed it up pretty good but um i like to live dangerously i figure you have a better chance of catching a big fish on a frayed leader than you do on a brand new one. So let's see what happens. Come on. Take it, take it. Pick it up again. There you go. There he is. 
Oh, I did. Oh, I got him. That target species finally? That is target species. He's going to be a little bit short. Guys. Now that is target species for the day right there, guys. Mangrove snapper. He's not going to make the cut. I might measure him just for the heck of it, but I was going to give him the belly for Ron, you know, give the first mangrove the belly, but he decided to quick release himself right there. Let me get a measure on him and get him back. I guess nine and a half, just under keeper size. I'll send him back. Later, dude. Okay, so I was using the pop and cork, y'all. I switched up, pinfish were just tearing them up on the pop and cork. I am free lining. I do have a one little split shot up here above the leader, but I am running about a three foot leader, 15 pounds, to a three-aught live bait hook, and then just head hooking live shrimp and pitching them up against the pylons. Got him. Got him that time. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh. It's another rat red. Quick release. The hook right into the hand. I got another little rat red right there. Uh, this might be the theme of the day. Since I'm looking for mangroves, I'm gonna find redfish. Later, dude. That's a better fish. Oh, get out of there. He's got me. There he goes. Oh, he's got me wrapped all the way. Oh, oh my God. Hopefully y'all saw that on this camera. I just had a nice redfish and he took me around the piling. I saw him go around twice. And I knew I was done right then. So there he is. Got him. Let's see what we got y'all. Is that a target species? That is. So I tried to make a move across the bay. I went to two or three spots and the wind was blown out. The wind was so bad, I couldn't fish any of them. So I did make a run back into Chico. I'm about 50 yards from where we started. Target species right there, mangrove snapper. He might make the cut. I'm gonna throw him on the stick real quick. Let's find out. All right, he's 10 and a half. He's going on ice. That's the first of our uh, 10 we can keep. I'm probably only gonna keep four or five for a good meal, but let's get him on ice. Let's grab another one. Three or four more of those, and we're gonna call it a day. Let's do it. There we go. Oh, I missed that one. Uh oh, we're on. Oh, 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 got him. A little bitty. What is it? Yep, yeah, a little bitty. Oh, we're going to give this mangrove the belly for Ron, guys. A little baby mangrove there, probably nine inches or so. Let's go ahead and get him back. You know, I figure while I'm out here, I can tell you all a funny story. Uh, actually, I'll put the clip in here. The very first time I met, whoop, I'm fishing on. Got him. Yep, there's another mangrove right there. That's going to be a keeper. But uh, real quick. So the first time I met Ron, we had talked on the phone for months. We missed each other several times on fishing together. We talked boat to boat several times, several times right here where I'm sitting. And uh, finally he was like, dude, I need a cameraman. I'm heading to Tampa to do my tarpon video, which was a freaking awesome video if you haven't seen that one, by the way. And uh, I was like, I'm in. So I loaded up the truck, drove whatever it was, seven hours down to Tampa, pull up at the campsite. We're primitive camping for this. Keep the trip cheap, right? I get out of the truck, I turn around, Ron's, boom, camera in face. And I, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I'll put that clip here for y'all to see that. All right, y'all, so we got the tent moved to a much, much safer location. Took the Kia, which we're down here in this time, and I get back, and somebody set up another tent on my campsite. And I don't know who that was, but you guys, you guys might know him. It's Dustin from Dusty Fish Co. If you guys don't know Dustin, Dustin is actually down here helping me out tremendously this weekend. He's going to come down and film for me. Now, listen, guys, I know he's not as pretty as the PYT. Like, I, I get it. He's, he's never going to measure up to her. But 
But we're going to call you Camry, Cameraman Dustin cameraman this Dustin. league. That's not a bad rap to have, though, man, most days. I have to change the YouTube name. Yeah, he, uh, he caught me off guard. He froze me up, and it was freaking hilarious. We still joke about it. Uh, it was one of my funniest moments with it. So so what I'm doing is I'm freelining these shrimp completely now. No, so, ooh. Got him. He made a run. Oh, there he goes. He made a run for that piling on me. He's not gonna make the cut. He's gonna be close. We're gonna have to throw him on the stick. Yeah, still got the shrimp hanging out of his mouth and everything. All right, let's throw him on the stick. I think he might be a keeper. All right, guys, that one is gonna keep. He's 10 and a quarter. That's two in the box. Guys, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm freelining these shrimp now, no split shot, 15 pound true braid, 15 pound leader. And I'm just tossing them on a live bait hook right up against this sailboat right here and letting the current pull them underneath like that right there. And then pretty quickly, let's see. Yeah, they're starting to, yep, yep. They're playing with it. Do you take it? Yep, he's got it. There he is. Pretty quickly, they're hitting it. I'm leaving the bale open um, because it's deeper water. There's not a lot of structure around where I'm fishing for them right here. And I want to make sure they eat before I go to set the hook. And that's our target right there. This might be another keeper. Let's go find out. Let go of my hook. If you ever wonder why they're called snapper, that right there is why they're called snapper right there. They have a nasty bite. They got some gnarly teeth. Let's check him out, see if he's big enough. Nope. That one's about an eighth of an inch short. Let's get another one. And guys, while I'm sitting here fishing for Ron, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to the PYT, to Sarah. She has been an absolute hero for their whole family through this. I've talked to her on and off through the whole thing and she has been an absolute rock star. She's been a rock star with the hospital staff, with her family, keeping things going, keeping the channel going. Shout out to you, Sarah, you're a rock star, that's awesome. There's gotta be a couple more keepers under here. If not, I got a spot about 20 feet away where I know there's keepers. So if this stops producing, we'll just run over there. Yep, I'm on already. Yep, got him. Oh, he's got me on the piling. Get out of there. There we go. This one feels a little bigger. This might be, this should, yep, that's a, oh, get in the boat. That is a nice, that is a nice mangrove snapper right there, y'all. Look at that, he's gotta be, cool, that's gotta be my, this might be my biggest inshore snapper, or at least out of this bayou. Coolly. Let's go get a measure on this guy, y'all. He's gotta be 13, 14 inches, something like that. That is what we're looking for. That is a stud mangrove right there. For, it's a stud mangrove for inshore. You offshore guys, stay out of it. I get it. 13 and a half inches. That's almost my biggest one out of Bayou Chico here. I've thought, caught 13 and three quarter before. I haven't broke 14 in here, but that is a nice one. He's gonna make a nice meal. Let's get him on ice. Let's keep going, baby. That one's for you, Ron. That's your mangrove right there, buddy. All right, guys, let's get one more and we're gonna call it, a, we're gonna wrap things up here. Let's see. Bale's open. Oh, he's running with it. Got him. Like clockwork, baby. That's another keeper right there, y'all. That is gonna be our last keeper of the day. Had a little bit of fun. Oop. Don't you do it. All right, guys, that's gonna be our last keeper of the day right there. I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm about to film a video for myself, for my channel. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting the Cameraman Ron channel. Don't forget about Coastal Country. Uh, Sarah's got an awesome channel over there as well. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Sarah, you're amazing. Keep being awesome. And as always, try to find a way to make somebody smile today. You never know. It just might change the world. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon.